By now, most of us already know that we're going to have a builder base upgrade sometime next year, but we're not actively getting ready for it and instead we're just relaxing and waiting for the details. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down why you should be preparing for the builder base update and how you can take steps to actually do that before the update even comes out. Let's first talk about the why. Why should you be spending extra time preparing for this builder base update even though we have no details of the update so far? Well, although we don't know the details, a better base or a more progressed base will give you more access to true it'll give you more access to a builder hall if we do get a builder hall upgrade it'll also give you access to new features as soon as the upgrade comes out and probably most important of all it doesn't hurt for you to do so think about how many times supercell has actually given new material to players at the highest level almost every single update does that whereas players at the lower levels won't get all of the new updates on top of that since we already know there's going to be some types of changes to a builder base and the way that the battles work there could be some type of competitive or clan system coming out and in that case, you want to be as far progressed and as defensively progressed as you could possibly be. But knowing those things, why should we concern ourselves with Builder Base now, knowing that the update is a few months away? Well, the main limiting factor of Builder Base is the fact that you can't get resources anytime that you want. You're only limited to resources every single day, and because of that, you need to make sure that you're proactively getting those resources every day, and you constantly have your Builder and your Research Lab working at all times. So if the update comes out eventually in a few months, and your base isn't where you want it to be, it's basically too late for you to be able to actually get the things that you want out of your base. It's going to take you some time, so you might as well go ahead and start now. So now that we know how important it is to grind the builder base early, let's go ahead and talk about some of the steps that we could take to do that. Well, one of the key things to having a decent builder base is having a good base layout and also having a good progress base so that you can get and maintain those trophies when you get to higher trophy ranges. And there's no better source for this than the Clash Fanatic app who is gladly the sponsor of this video. The Clash Fanatic app has over a million downloads and it has one of the easiest interfaces that you can use as well as descriptions for every single base on the app. On top of this, Clash Fanatic app has brand new Town Hall 15 bases and it's the only app in the iOS or the Google Play Store that actually has all of its bases updated for the recent barracks change so you don't have to go ahead and re-edit the bases they're already done for you. Whether you need bases for farming, hybrid, clan wars, artistic or just progress bases for either your town hall or your builder base the Clash Fanatic app definitely has you covered. Check out the link in the description or in the comments section for your free download and thank you so much Clash Fanatic app for sponsoring this video. Okay so continuing on to more steps that we can use to progress your builder base as much as possible, sometimes it's really important that you take into account a change of perspective. Now I think it's really important for players who are not at Builder Hall 9 yet to just focus on getting to Builder Hall 9 because if we do end up getting a Builder Hall 10, getting to Builder Hall 9 will obviously be a requirement for you to be able to go to that next level. Now if you are at Builder Hall 9 already but you don't have auto yet, I think it's your priority to get auto as fast as possible. This is simply because auto is actually going to help with your main village anyway so you do want to be able to get that first. And for players who already have auto and are already at Builder Hall 9 but are just not playing Builder Base like myself, then I I think what you guys should be doing is just getting your attacks in every single day. You should also try to keep your builder and your research lab busy at all times and I know this may sound a little bit tedious but it is going to give you the best ability to be at the highest level possible when the update finally does come out. I've even got an extra trick to make this a little bit faster for you. For those of you that don't know when you exit the game actually Clash of Clans completely just finishes a battle whatever battle you're in. So if you go ahead and start your versus battle so I just dropped all my troops I'm not gonna do anything but I'm just gonna close the app and then I'm going to open up the app once again. Once I do this, the, the battle is just going to play out the way it would play out normally. And because it's an army that I don't have to go ahead and put a lot of things into, it's going to be fine by itself. So unfortunately, this one was a one star 72%, but usually a lot of the times I do win my battles like this and I don't even need to battle and it really won't take that much time, but it could make a really big difference in the future when this update finally does come out. I've also got a trick you can use with raid medals right here for you to be able to get to Builder Hall 9 faster if you didn't get there yet or get auto on lock faster if you didn't get there yet. Hope you guys are excited for the update as much as I am and hopefully we get a good one.